So we're going to be calculating the percent abundance. In the previous one, they gave us the mass and the percent, and we were calculating the average atomic mass. But now, we have the average atomic mass, and so it's going to be the same equation, mass times percent plus mass times percent is equal to the average atomic mass. We plug in our average atomic mass, 10.811. We know the masses of each of our isotopes, so we can plug those in. But we don't know the percents. And because they're different masses, we sh are probably going to have different percents. So we're going to have to have two variables, x and y. We now have a system of equations. Because we have two variables, we're going to have to solve it with another equation. So our percents should add up to 100, but since we put them in decimal form, they should add up to 1. So we know that x plus y equals 1. You could solve this now one of two ways, either substitution or elimination. I'm going to solve it with elimination. And down here at the bottom is just how we got x plus y equals 1. So to solve with elimination, I'm going to have to multiply my x plus y equals 1 by some value so I can subtract them and they cancel out. I always just multiply by the first mass, which is 10.0129. So distributing that out, I get 10.0129x plus 10.0129y equals 10.0129. And this middle equation I can now get rid of since I've rewritten it. Now I have my two equations and I can just subtract them. So 10.0129x minus 10.0129x is just 0 plus 11.0093y minus 10.0129y gives you 0.9964y. And finally we have to subtract the last one which is 10.811 minus 10.0129 which is 0.7981. So just to make sure that you see that, we subtracted those two to give me this value, and we subtracted these two to give me this value. Now it's just a simple algebra problem. I need to isolate my y, so I'm going to divide by 0.9964. So y is equal to 0.8009. But I want it as a percent, so make sure that you multiply by 100. Also, define your x, or in this case y, by saying that's the percent of B11. Our percents should add up to 100, so once you get one of your variables, the other one is easy because you just subtract from 100.
So 19.990%. And remember your box 10 answer should have your isotopes in it as well. Remember that this is not the only way to solve your system of equations. You could have also used substitution. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Look back at the previous problem if you need help, but it's important that you try to solve this one on your own to see if you understand. Okay, so here our average atomic mass is 20.1797. Define your x and y. Write our first equation. Our second equation, I'm just going to write off to the side, x plus y equals 1, and I'm going to multiply it by our first mass, which is 19.992. Rewrite that down here underneath my first one. Subtracting, my first ones are going to cancel out. Twenty one point nine nine one minus nineteen point nine nine two gives me one point nine 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 Y. Twenty point one seven nine seven minus nineteen point nine nine two gives me point eighteen seventy seven. Solve for Y. And y is equal to 0 0.0939. Multiply by 100 to get it a percent. And I have my percent of y, which is neon 22. To get my x, remember that I just subtract from 100. And so that gives me 90.61. And so we have our 2% now.